If you look around the internet, you'll find countless people telling you that you can't grow mushrooms on coffee or that you're always gonna end up with mold. We've been growing mushrooms successfully on coffee for years now, and in this video, we're gonna show you how to do it. Coffee grounds are a great material because there's loads of it. It often is just thrown into waste. And one of the things that makes it really good for mushroom growing is that the brewing process pasteurizes the grounds so that you can basically pick up a material that's already been pasteurized and it has a lot of nutrient for the mushrooms to grow on. This picture you can see in front of you here is from our urban mushroom farm that we ran for a few years in Exeter. And we ran the farm in the middle of a city because we wanted to grow on the coffee and that is where most of the coffee waste is. And it was growing mushrooms on coffee grounds that really took us down this path of trying to find the easiest ways to show people how to grow mushrooms. And in particular, in this case, it's because the substrate is already pasteurized, you can just pick it up and use it without needing to go through a long process. So in this lesson, we'll talk through how to grow mushrooms on coffee. We'll talk through why, although you can grow them on just pure coffee grounds, it actually works better to add a little bit of straw into that mix as well. And then we'll show you a practical lesson where we demonstrate what it actually looks like to make a mix up with coffee grounds. So coffee grounds are great if you're in an urban area, but they do have a few features about them that make them slightly more difficult to work with. And the main thing here is to do with the density. So coffee grounds are really small particle size, and when they are put in a bag together, they tend to compact quite a lot. So I'm gonna teach you a bit in this lesson about how to work with that quality of them and still have good results. And this picture that you see on the slide here is exactly what we're looking for. Healthy, thriving mycelium working its way across a coffee mix. So let's start back at the beginning. Uh, this photo you can see here on the screen is the very first bag of mushrooms I ever grew from coffee grounds back in 2011. And it's a very simple mix of just kilo of coffee grounds and 100 grams of oyster mushroom spawn. And if you wanna get started with the very simplest way, then you can grow just like this. The only trouble with this is it only really works well with small amounts of coffee of around about a kilo, maybe up to a kilo and a half max. Beyond that point, you tend to get problems with the coffee compacting inside of the bag. And that's really just because the particle size of coffee grounds is so small that when you have anything more than a kilo or so of coffee, it squashes down into the bag and becomes very, very dense and compact and the mycelium struggles to grow through it. So if you want to grow in the very simplest way, stick to small amounts in small bags and you should have success like this. One of the key things when growing with coffee is to provide it with good substrate composition. And what do I mean by that? Um, it's basically creating the right mix, the right space within the mix for the mycelium to grow. Um, we're going to take a quick look at a video here from Ian where he talks about this in a bit more detail. Uh, uh, in this video we're going to talk about substrate composition and what we can add to the mix to improve it. If you want to keep it simple and just grow on plain coffee you can. This block here is, is made just using pure coffee and you can see there is healthy mycelium all the way through it. Um, but what you may notice about this block is that it's quite dense and a dense substrate can lead to poor air exchange and so slow colonization um, which basically gives you increased risk of contamination. In this block here you can see we've added straw to the mix and that really breaks it up well and forms a really nice structure for the mycelium to run across and this improves the air exchange and the speed of colonization. The added bonus of putting straw in the mix is that it really bumps up the moisture content. Coffee is about 50% water and then it saturates quite soon after that, but straw has a moisture content around 75%. So a, a small amount of straw in the mix really, really brings water into it um, and this improves your yields quite dramatically. Great, so some very useful points there from Ian about how to create this nice substrate composition by adding some extra straw into the mix. Let's take a look now at a practical lesson. Ian's going to walk you through what the process looks like to mix and inoculate your coffee grounds and straw substrate. 
Um, in this video I'm going to show you how to do basic mix preparation. Um, I'm going to show you how to do a 20% straw mix, but as we've said earlier you can just go on pure coffee if you like. Um, first thing I've done is I've cleaned down my surface and all my containers with alcohol. Um, just good to get things as clean as possible, especially when you're starting out. This increases your chances of success. Um, next I've done is I've weighed out all my materials. So I've got 3 kilos of coffee, 600 grams of pasteurised straw and 300 grams of spawn. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is put my coffee into my mixing vessel. And what I'm doing now is breaking up all the, the pox, the lumps of coffee, because we have sort of like concentrated lumps of coffee, it doesn't get mixed into the straw that well, and that's where you can get the mould forming. I'm just going to add my straw and my spawn. Important to break your grain spawn up as much as possible. Um, gives the mycelium a much bigger surface area which to colonise the coffee. And just give it a really good mix. And once that's thoroughly mixed, you can begin to fill your bags. So there we go, you now know how to grow mushrooms on coffee grounds and we've shared some of our insights from turning tons of waste coffee into delicious oyster mushrooms over the last few years here on our farm. If you'd like to learn more about low-tech ways of growing mushrooms then download our free ebook guide to setting up a low-tech mushroom farm using the link in the description below. Thanks a lot for watching, do subscribe to the channel for future videos like this and I look forward to seeing you soon.